All right, folks, what's the crack? It's me, the crack master and the Persian princess. Hello, everyone. It's been a while since we've done a vlog and we've both been very busy and with work, which is good news. A lot more people here on the island. And in today's vlog, what we're gonna do, we're gonna head to a yurt. So we're staying the night in a yurt and the yurt is in an eco animal sanctuary for horses and other animals. They're completely funded, self-funded by YouTube and social media donations. They're a registered NGO organization and uh, they do a lot to help sick and hurt and injured animals. And we're going to stay in their yurt. You can stay in it yourself. We will show you the details in the description below. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. Um, my dad's a big eco man. He loves all the eco-friendly stuff. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they are doing it in their sanctuary and to see the great work that they're doing. Um, so guys, if you do like the content that we're putting out, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for further notifications. Guys, so what more can I say except for, let's do this. It's the coldest hand that run down this land Where the ocean lands It's the tallest sound, the damn smallest crowd But their hearts break loud Far from ever feeling lost with me I'll push you back towards the land and sea So guys, I've arrived here at the uh, Animal Sanctuary, um, really beautiful location just outside of Badis. Actually, Badis is where I lived for most of my time here in Tenerife for nearly six years until Sahara took me away from Abadis. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so also, um, Sahara is a little bit nervous of dogs and animals and stuff like that. So initially no, when we got here, no, there was no, loads no, of dogs. No, yeah. no, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> And we, there you go, look at that surrounding, she's all right. And this is Emma, who is the owner or co-owner of the sanctuary here. So uh, thanks for inviting us here. Um, I'm looking forward Thank to seeing it. Thank you for coming. I want to show you around. I mean, in the car park. Yeah. Well, look, uh, car park's been exciting already. She's surrounded by beautiful dogs and the smiliest dog I've ever seen, wherever he's gone or she. Yeah, yeah, she's gone. And you've got a lovely load of dogs here. And over here, a load of horses. And I'm guessing, are they rescued? Rescue horses? Everything's rescued. Every single animal here is rescued. Aww. And some of the people too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there you go. So um, we're going to have a look around and we're going to check out the yurt. And uh, it's just a really nice location. And it's so cool. So many animals here. Everything's rescued, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. There's about 250 animals. Well, there you go. And what? What? <laughs> interesting question. What's the strangest animal you have here? Strangest. I mean, most exotic would be the best. Have we got a um, uh, iguana. Just, iguana. Yeah, about three weeks ago, an iguana was just found on the road. Wow. That was, yeah, that and was, was there anything wrong with it, or was it just? It hadn't eaten for a long time, and it was very, very nervous. Okay. So, okay, super. So uh, I look forward to seeing that. Actually, have yeah. you seen an iguana before? Okay. Nearly as handsome as me. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure that Tiffany gets hold of me because those horses. Yeah, okay, super. Okay, so we're going to check out the yurt and talk to you in a little while. We'll talk to you a little bit more later on and uh, about what you do, all the stuff. You also have a YouTube channel. Yeah, we do. Tiffany was rescued. Make sure you subscribe, guys. The link is in the description. They need all the support they can and all the donations and everything go directly to um, the animals here. And it's, yeah, a, it's a registered NGO, as I mentioned earlier on. And a 
I've been here since 2018 doing great work and it's growing all the time so I'm going to show you more of this here I'll do a nice little video with a little bit of music and you can check, and check out the stuff I'm so glad there are such a nice beautiful people on the planet you know <laughs> we just need a little bit more of them <laughs> there's, there's 30 of us would you believe 30 wow. volunteers living here at the moment wow and all given their time free yeah, yeah. yeah. excellent there you go guys so we'll talk to you in a little while thank you Way too fast. So Emma, what what's the story with the, those guys? How what happened? Why did, how come they ended up here? Well, we've actually got seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, one person had to leave the country and couldn't take them, and then they just got left on a, a terrace, I think. Somebody else rescued them and then brought them to us. And some were also just kids' pets that kids lost interest in, and right. just ended up here. I see one there. I honestly don't know. It's either him, which is Victor, or the yeah. Tony. He's not allowed with the other tortoises because he's horrible and he bullies them off. <laughs> all right. He What's his name? Toby. 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 Toby needs to be here. He's a sick one. Look at that. And that lad was sitting having a pipe in Ireland and he was rescued. He's all the way from my beautiful Emerald Isle. There you go. What's his name? Iggy. Iggy. He was the reason we started it was my first ever rescue. All oh, right. All the way from Ireland, aren't you? Well travelled dog. So guys, um, regularly Emma would have animals turning up and today you said you have a, a skin and bone cat. Okay. Unfortunately, very malnourished and I think pregnant. possibly pregnant and a hamster, very unwell. And like, I don't know, I'll be honest with you. I struggle with that sort of stuff. I struggle with, um, I struggle with basically with you know, uh, an animal being that unwell, I'd struggle with nurturing it. So my, my hat's off to you for doing that sort of stuff. You know what I mean? I really, really wouldn't have be able to do it. Like, so obviously very sick cat. Yeah, it um, was a painful one to see. Just a question I'm gonna ask you is, do, like, do you guys nurture themselves? Do you have to get vets in? Do you have to pay for vets and stuff like that? Um, a bit of both. I studied, um, I studied small vet care, um, like veterinary nursing, and I do all the basic things for myself. Yeah. And I also studied first aid with horses, so I do the basics, but we do team up with a few vets on the island. And I've got really good relationships with them. Like, I rang her now, like, oh, just to, like, give me back up. Should I do this, this, and this? She says, yeah. And so we, we get the supplies and things. And I do what I can myself, and I team up with good vets. Luckily, there's a few that really help on the island here. Is there a lot, is there a lot, like, so do the vets help you out or is, is there a lot of costs involved in the vets? Obviously the medicine costs money, but. Yes, they, it, they do help us out a lot. Yeah. However, the cost is still ridiculous. Everything's, yeah. we're on the on an island. So yeah. supplies here are super expensive and super difficult. Um, still super expensive, even with the cost. Thank God we wouldn't be able to rescue half as many as we do if we didn't have the vets helping us. Okay, yeah. super nice. So, 
I'm going to actually leave in the description below on this video a link to their PayPal where you can drop a donation in, guys. If you want to make a donation to this great cause, they are a registered NGO. There is a link below, PayPal link. You can click that and donate some money. It all goes to a great cause. Nice one, guys. I'll talk to you in a little while. We're going into the uh, we're going into the um, birds and uh, they're probably landing on me. Hopefully, I don't end up with too much poop on my head. So here we go. Does this need to be? Oh, this needs to be shot. Look at this, guys. Frankie normally comes around from the camera. Look at these guys. How you doing, lads? Hello, What's the story? That's Who's Frankie? These guys, the cockatiels, the bigger ones. Frankie, come on, Frankie. What's the crack, lads? So are these are these Emma like are they unwanted pets or are they just? Yep, all the same. Yeah. Um, well, a lot of them actually came from a really lovely elderly couple, and when the man passed away, she wanted them to go to a nice place, so we took a lot of them. But a lot of some of like. Just, the sicker looking ones, ones with shorter tails and they're ones that have just spent their whole life stuck in the small cages yeah and then they didn't know how to fly and move and so some so they're, they're here. obviously not going to perform now though are they <laughs> no they'll be a bit around. freaked out as if there's a big uh and they normally love there it is normally if you pick your phone out you let them land on it oh, there you go I'm pretending to film Frankie do you remember me Hello, Frankie Frankie. Frankie. Frankie, what's this? Frankie. 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 What's the story, Frankie? You well? Oh my goodness. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't fall now. <laughs> you freaked out by the dog? Come up off the here. It's alright, baby, relax. Yeah. Won't eat you. It can be better, you know? Sahara doing bookings, <laughs> surrounded by lovebirds and dogs. And beautiful dog that doesn't scare me. <laughs> There you go. Want to ask how do you uh, how do you get the food? How do you do the food shopping? Right, uh, yeah, that's that's a complicated question. We don't actually do any shopping generally. Would you believe that we have managed to feed thirty people and about two hundred animals because we don't feed the um, horses through this? But um, we get all of our food from donations from supermarkets and waste food from super. Well, no, sorry, not donations from the supermarket. We take their waste food. We, it took us about two years to collaborate with them to get the food, and now we have all of their waste food. We go collect it, we organise what goes into recycled, we take the food, we take the good stuff to the humans, the second good stuff to the animals, and the bad food goes to compost, and then we grow more. So we, we literally don't go food shopping. We buy toilet rolls. <laughs> toilet rolls and olive oil, that's about it. And water, overhead water is our biggest cost here. I know it's incredible. Wow. Yeah, it's. it's I was it, it took, a, it took a long time. We're registered as a food bank now, so that we could do it. So now we actually give more food to homes and abattoirs because we get too much. So we spread wow. out food around as well. Wow. We can feed our guinea pigs, rabbits, look, goats, and sheep from this as well. Our biggest cost actually is the horses because you know that doesn't come on the island. We have to buy it from mainland Spain. But yeah, from humans is we've created like a fully sustainable circle from uh, from rubbish. You want to see us literally, we're climbing in bags of rubbish and cleaning it all out. And we've got two volunteers that work sort of full time just as food sorters. Wow. It's wow. organized madness here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's yeah. madness. Organized <laughs> chaos, really, yeah. Yeah, it is actually, no, I'm speechless. <laughs> oh my God. Well, there's 25 volunteers and they all have like a sort of structured role. They, it was, we give them food and accommodation in exchange for working, and that's why it builds it all up. Wow. Question I have obviously is you need, um, so you need like energy to run, like for example, I turn on the light here, for example. Mm -hmm. So, where water as well, so where do you source all this from? The, um, all the energy is solar, so we don't, actually don't have that much really. 
Um, so we have to be very careful what we use. But we have solar panels on the top of the roof. We actually want to build wind turbines as well. So we, cool. Because it's windy here, so we're going to look into that. But at the moment, it's all um, solar. And water, we get from the mains. And, but then what we do afterwards, because we're not connected to the waste. So then that goes, how did you get in? She's jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> well She's done. Me in. Two sneaky dogs there, look yeah. at that. They know they shouldn't be in here, but they're in here. Um, so yeah, all of our wastewater goes through a system that we've made, a, uh, like a, we call it a poo bubbler, and it cleans it through two different systems and then it goes for a reed bed and it sucks out the remained, uh, remainder of the bacteria to another pond, the duck pond, and then it comes out of that into the garden. So it's a fully sustainable circle. Wow. Wow. Uh, wow. Just wow. All made by volunteers. We, we, we didn't plan this, we planned as an animal sanctuary. And we've learned from so many people and we were do we were eating from the bin at first because we couldn't afford not to and then we're like this is so good we can get so much then we registered as a food bank and it just grew we didn't plan any of this it just that's evolved. amazing yeah, yeah. that's absolutely amazing yeah we're really lucky we had so many like volunteers to teach us and we all learned from and it just evolved of course there are so beautiful souls on the planet you know we're lucky to have so many here <clears throat> And you're one of them. No. <laughs> so the other thing is, um, Dad, I know you'd like this because uh, you like sustainable <laughs> stuff and my dad would have been heavily involved in sustainability in Ireland. Um, so the water, the initial water that comes in, is that like, obviously you're recycling the water that comes, is it a full circle or are you getting water from somewhere else initially? We get it from initially, we get it from mains to feed, to, the animals drink that first and for showers yeah. and things like this. And then that goes all into the same, well the animals drink what the animals drink, they get that first. But all of the human waste from showers and toilets, then that goes into the system. So we do have mains as well. One more question and we'll, we'll do a few more questions again, yeah. maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Hammering you already with questions. Um, uh, in relation to volunteers, like what, what kind of average length of time does a volunteer stay here, would you? Well, we say like a minimum of one month um, because we, we're lucky we get quite a lot of people apply. But we have 30 here. Three of those have been here two years. Probably more than 10 have been here about one year and the others maybe four or five months. People averagely stay about six months. It just, they say I'm coming for one month, then they don't leave. <laughs> okay. and. If someone, say for example, tomorrow I wanted to be a volunteer and I wanted to join and, and help out and spend a couple of months here and, you know, how, how would someone go about that? On our website, we've got uh, tenerifeforcerescue.com. I think it's forward slash volunteer, but if not, you just look on volunteer on our website and there's an application form. Open to everyone. You don't have to have experience with horses, animals, anything. All you need is passion about, passion to love sustainability, community living, animals and stuff, I think. More than area, join in. Excellent, guys. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can actually uh, check that out and you can click the link and you'll be able to, if you want to come here and help out for a couple of weeks or a month, you can click and do the application there. Hello, everyone. You have the most beautiful YouTube channel to check out about this beautiful place. And guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell for Tenerife Horse Rescue. Great channel, they're gonna be bringing you all the stuff, the stuff that they're doing here, how they're helping the animals, all that, and it's really worth watching there. It's a great cause, and don't forget to donate. So go onto their channel, hit subscribe, hit, hit the like, yeah. and ring the bell. Yeah, ring the bell. Hell yeah. Okay guys, so this is a really beautiful place to stay. And um, at some stage, when they are able to license the place, you'll be able to come and stay here. Um, on a holiday and of course the money goes towards the sanctuary at the moment the um it's only available for people who like influencers on facebook on instagram or on youtube so if you are one of these and you're watching this video drop them a message they'd love to have you here um, it highlights um what they're doing here and it also helps them raise money to continue the great work that they're doing so i would recommend that you uh look at uh coming to see this place and stay tonight. I'm looking forward to staying tonight here tonight. Um, also, if you are staying here, it's not far from a town actually I used to live in called Abadis. And if you didn't want to cook here, they do have everything for you to be able to cook. Um, all the cooking utensils, pans, uh, cutlery, everything. Unfortunately, we, we didn't bring anything with us, but 
there is a town near here called Abadis. Nice restaurants in it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go and have something to eat there this evening. So guys, nice one. Let's say the things that we both know Gonna take these words and make them stone I know a place on the edge of town The whiskey and the wind are the only sound Let's make like a tree, grow some roots, do all the things that old folks do. I need you and you need me. What else more could someone need? You've got a key and I've got a lock. Let's build a house upon a rock. We've been down for something to eat in a baddest. Nice food, and uh, we're now back in the yurt, aren't we? Yeah, oh my goodness. So beautiful in here. You can hear the wind, can't you? Beautiful. Really. And you can see the sky from this circle. Yeah, you can see the sky up there from the circle above. But at night time, the way it lights up in here is really nice with all the wood. It's just really, really. It's so beautiful. And it's warm in here, yeah? Yeah, thank God. Because it's actually cool outside, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Ridiculous. Yeah, the wind is blowing. You can hear the wind here. I'm just going to go silent for a minute so you can see if you can hear it. It's really, really beautiful. And if you could look up here, timber and all the colours. Very, very nice. Lovely place to sleep, huh? It's beautiful. There you go, guys. Well, we're going to get some sleep. And um, we're going to do live tomorrow from here which you'll be able to see if you click the link in the description as well. And um, yeah, we're going to uh, do some uh, more videoing tomorrow. What do you reckon? Sahar? Yeah. Sahar's in another world. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> I'm watching the video. <laughs> <laughs> so nice one, guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Talk to you tomorrow. Sleep well. Sleep well. So we woke up to... Uh, the lovely sound of animals, birds singing behind us here. Um, and uh, all the animals, of course, are all rescued. They came in here in ill health and are being, are being nurtured back to health. And uh, yeah, it's just a beautiful morning here. Lovely sounds of animals. I'm gonna have a look around now at the different places here. And uh, yeah, let's take a look, guys. So it's early on a Sunday morning and already uh, the volunteers are up feeding the animals, you know, doing the things that are needed. Um, and uh, it seems like there seems to be a, like a boss of the place. It's just following me around everywhere. Here you go. Follow me everywhere. Tell me who the boss is, aren't you? Yeah, so beautiful morning here. A bit windy, but uh, yeah. I'm going to turn this off now because I'm going to get wind noise. How you doing? Um, what time did you get up this morning? I start at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. The weekends. So Just the weekends or most yeah, I morning? I work Saturday and Sunday. Okay. So the whole week I, I have off. Yeah. But I have to do the whole horses. Okay. Saturday, and Sunday. Cool. And what's your name, man? Richard. 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 Nice, Richard. To, meet nice you, to meet you, man. Daniel. Hi. Nice to meet you, brother. Um, yeah, so you've been up basically cleaning all morning. Cle yeah, cleaning, and feeding. Uh, so we feed them three times a day. Yeah. Um, yeah, normally they have hay. Uh, they have a mix of 
different foods, yeah, many good horses. Yeah. Horses with diseases, so every horse has a different diet. Yeah. And you're doing every weekend. Are you staying yeah. here? Are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah fair play, man. For two months now. Oh wow, man. And I'm planning to stay longer. Excellent, man. Thank yeah. you for your thank you for yeah, your yeah. good work, you're brother. Welcome. Yeah, nice one, man. This is Roberto. He makes all the small animals. Yeah. Like the chicken and the uh, guinea pigs, all the stuff. And I make the horses. Yeah. So there's basically at the weekend the other volunteers take a break they and you break. you guys are yeah. full on yeah. then, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Okay, That's so because of the that the other people can have a rest here. Yeah, fair play. Uh, yeah, it's okay. So it's a busy couple of days for you. Yeah, two days so I'm really from eight o'clock in the morning to nearly eight o'clock in the evening. Wow man. It's too long it's not, days. Not a whole day, but yeah, three times feeding and the last feeding is uh, seven o'clock in the evening. Wow. And after this it's done. And then I have weekend five days. Happy days man. <laughs> Enjoy brother. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I'm um, feeling refreshed as well. I had a nice shower until um, I was told how the shower was, uh, the warm water came from. So where, <laughs> I'm, I'm in, I, you know, I was just told where the warm water came from. I am assuming it's separate to the water that comes out, but uh, yeah, so how, how, how do you use the water for the showers? We don't tell you before. <laughs> yeah, I like the way you told me afterwards, yeah. <laughs> well, in a, in a very unique way, it horse poop is the simple answer. <laughs> well, it worked, it was warm. <laughs> We put it in a, um, we make a thing around it and there's a pipe that goes in the middle of the horse poo and as long as we keep it wet, it keeps really, really hot and yeah, sustainable way, hot water through horse poo. There you go. And I tell you <laughs> what, the thing that kind of um, stands out to me the most about what you've done here is, I'm assuming this was just an empty field. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There was like half of the ramp was there and half of this was here, but nothing else. We dug out all of this. Well, Boys with machine and volunteers. We dug up all this, made these levels. Literally nothing. Wow, and and that's what kind of stuff, like I mean, the ingenuity, the, the you know, the whole thing is is really really impressive, and like you should be really really proud of yourself. You know what I mean, what you've done, the animals that you've helped. A lot of people don't see this. A lot of people come to Tenerife, they don't see this sort of stuff. They don't see what's going on in different places on the island, and you guys are making a difference in the world um, in your way. And, and and you know, you should be really really proud of yourself. So Thank well you. done, we guys. Try. You know what I mean. And guys, they're doing it on their own backs. They need donations. Again, I said to you, there's a PayPal link below. Make sure you drop a few quid into it. It's an amazing cause. Myself and Sahara have been here, and we're really, really blown away by all the stuff that the guys are doing. So make sure you donate. Nice one, guys. Talk to you in a little while. Over there, just over there, guys, is a few basic reed bays, isn't it? You, yep. you filter yeah, yeah. your own water for watering. What do you water with it? The garden, the ornamental plants, and um, like the banana trees, things like this. But yeah, it starts from the toilets, goes through air bubblers, and then it goes through the reed beds and the uh, pond, and then out the other side. Full system. Excellent. And you grow some of your own veg as well, which I've just we shown. We do. We're starting, we're starting on there. We're pretty early with it, but we get so much from waste food anyway. Yeah. It's not hugely important, but we are, uh, we are starting it. Excellent. And um, I was going to ask you something else there. Uh, I've, I've noticed on the weekends, like there's reduced people here, less volunteers, they take time off. So I've actually chatted to uh, one of the guys, I've actually forgotten his name, I feel bad now. Richard. Richard, <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm brutal with names, guys, and I think you know that already. So Richard, I've seen, he was just saying to me that the two of them are flat out for the day, Saturday and yep. Sunday, just to give the other guys a break. Exactly. They, he, they work for the weekends, they work flat out for two days, and then they have five days off, and the others work um, like half days five days and then have the weekends off 
Well, look, we have a few more people as well. Some work evenings, and but the most of the people work Monday to Friday. It okay. was totally different on the uh, week and full weekend. It's just him picking up the poo. So. And by the way, that is the stuff that heats the showers. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, it's a hard job. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oi! Smeagol! Oi! Smeagol! There's, there's some crack happening there. The lads are having the fun. Um, but uh, there was something else um, I noticed down there um, which kind of struck home to me because, yeah, I'm walking around, I'm seeing animals being looked after and all that, but there is one of the things that kind of like struck my heart a bit was when I seen that, um, you can describe it as a horse hanger. Um, yeah. is that there is moments where you have to deal with very, very, very unwell animals. Um, well, there's a lot of moments like that. You yeah, talked about really it in, lot, yeah. we talked about the cat yesterday. Most days. Honestly, Most days, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so you would get very sick horses coming in and they, basically you were saying that if you let them lie down, there's a good chance they can pass away. <laughs> the dogs are having a crack here. Look at that. Wherever I am, it's <laughs> Lots of happy animals around, and that's thanks to you. So, um, when 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 the horses, obviously you were saying that that hanger is to keep the horses standing up. Yeah, to take um, some of the pressure off if they're really really sick or they. But we need to try help them to stand up, take the pressure off if they've got problems with their leg, or whatever. We've used it twice with a really really sick horse and one who had a big injury on his leg. Just takes the pressure off and hangs there a bit so we can gain a bit of strength and give them a fighting chance. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your service. Much appreciated. <laughs> yeah, right. Guys, a couple of questions here and there we've asked within this vlog. But the important thing to know is we're actually doing a live today where you guys are going to be asking us questions, where I'm going to be asking some questions. The link will be somewhere here on the video. So you can click the link and you'll see more. You'll get more information about what happens here because um, we're going to have a, let's say, interview um, for want of a better way of describing it. So check out the interview if you want to know more. It's somewhere here. Okay, nice one, guys. Talk to you in a while. Okay, guys. So we've we've stayed a night here. If you haven't, we did a live here as well. If you haven't seen that, please check it out. Uh, the link will be um, here somewhere in the video somewhere. Um, check it out. Where we talk to the guys to tell us a lot more about the what they do here, the great work that they do. I've shown you around the all the work that they've done you've seen the yard beautiful place to stay so if you are as i said if you are an influencer youtuber instagram person or whatever get in contact with the guys i'm going to leave them the link in the description description below and come and stay here check it out because at some stage they're going to be it's going to be possible for people to actually come and stay and hopefully, pay and hopefully as soon as they do the all the regulation and everything you know tell everything's beautiful but it comes in the package sometimes the paperwork it just takes so much time here so hopefully soon yeah. excellent and um yeah so hope you've enjoyed looking at this beautiful place and seeing the beautiful work that they're doing guys don't forget to jump over to their channel and the channel is Rescue. <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe and ring the bell for them. Jump over, they're going to give regular videos. <laughs> Why should they subscribe? Subscribe. Why should they subscribe to your channel? Yeah. What will they see on your channel? Yeah, they will see everything that we're doing here. Narrated, narrated by us. Yeah, sorry, with me talking a lot normally. But vlogging what we do, we wanted to be totally honest and open and let everyone see where the donations are going. So watch as we rescue new animals, watch as we build stuff, see what else happens in Tenerife. Brilliant. And they're going to be starting some new, apparently. And, and, oh, yeah, that's true. But actually, a, the proper answer for your question, probably, why should you watch our videos, is because now we're monetizing it. So actually, by watching our videos, the money from the adverts and whatever it goes directly into rescuing more animals. So happy days! Happy days! Happy days. <laughs> and um, there's a couple of things actually that we didn't touch on and mm -hmm. I do want to ask you about. Firstly, you're going to be doing a thing like, where's Edu? <laughs> <laughs> this is Edu, yeah? <laughs> this lovely couple are the owners of this beautiful Don't place and they're the ones that, so the, 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 the whole thing came out of their minds and has evolved to this with all the hard work of the volunteers and these two, two of these lovely people. And they're going to be doing a thing with Where's Edu? What does Edu do? Because apparently you don't feature a lot on the vlogs. It's no, because still. I'm not in the I'm not in the finca normally. Yeah. Whatever everybody see in the finca, I bring it to the finca. Okay. Oh, so wow. in some way, I'm out, bring it, and then when it's here, our people, uh, like sometimes me as well, <laughs> like this, 
this uh, I did it with uh, my master, <coughs> my stone, uh, stone builder master. And uh, so for this, I'm never really into the Fika. Yeah. I'm always out bringing stuff, uh, bringing surprises in uh, the Fika. Oh, brilliant. So you're bringing in surprises all the time. Every day. Food, products, Every stuff day. that can be recycled. Everything that you see around. Everything, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. This is uh, matter, this uh, wonderful table, this, well, the sofa, the, the kitchen, anything has been uh, collected around. Not boat, not at all. The only thing that we buy, and uh, for this we ask as well as a donation, is the screw and nail. <laughs> screws and nails. So they need donation for screws and nails, also for the food, for the horses, yeah. yep. the yes. dogs, the cats. Yep, and come and visit us. You can, if you want to come and visit us, just come up with a big bag of cat food. Come oh, Greatly appreciated. Yeah, really and there's yeah. another thing that um, we're talking about, you're looking at getting more land, am I right in saying that? We are, yes. This at the moment is six and a half thousand square meters and we're about to buy 21, I think, thousand. So it's gonna be huge because we can't keep up with the demand of the animals to rescue. And we wanna create a bigger, more natural environment for the horses so they've got more space to run around and more space to be free. And yeah, we've just taken on a huge gamble because we already don't have day off. Can you imagine when it's like four times a day? Uh, yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's going to be good. Yeah, our real goal is uh, give the nature world back to the animals. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, such a view! Oh my God, <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> well, if you think we humanize them, because uh, like a dog before was looking for a food around, now not really. Needs us so, to supply the food. Yeah, we with the horses, we want to make and it more free for them. Yeah. Horses that were moving uh, all around uh, before, now they they're just stand trapped in, uh, in small spaces and they can't move a lot. Oh. So guys, if you want to donate, the link will be in the description below. Don't forget, if you do like the content that myself and the Persian Princess are putting out there, and if you haven't already, like, subscribe and ring that bell. Push and the button and stuff. Push the buttons, as Shelly would say. <laughs> push the buttons and stuff. And guys, um, remember, keep it country, and if you get it, Take it twice. twice. You ready? Five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Guys, you have a beautiful YouTube channel of them to check out. Where will they find it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 That's where you find it. This is definitely gonna be an outtake. Okay, baby, try it again. So it's gonna be in the description below. It's gonna be Are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, are you ready? Oh! You have them. go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Take 6,422,122. You ready? There you go. So, guys, please just. No, go, go, go. 